What an interesting week it has been, filled with intriguing political developments and heated controversies that had us on our toes non-stop. My name is Rachel M.M. Isaac and I'm here with the top stories of the week. The 9th AMBCA Awards was held in Lagos. The 9th edition of the African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards AMBCA held on Saturday, May 20, 2023. The event, which took place at Eco Hotels, recognized and honored the talent in the film industries across Africa. The evening saw the emergence of winners from various categories as well as glamorous displays of fashion from the attendees. We extend our heartfelt congratulations to the winners and all the nominees. Keep making Africa proud. Proud. Buhari commissioned the new Dangote refinery in Lagos. President Muhammad Buhari commissioned the Dangote refinery located in Lekki, Lagos State on Monday, May 22, 2023. The refinery marks a significant milestone in Nigeria's oil industry as it is expected to improve the country's local production and uplift the economy. The president and notable personalities who were in attendance commended Aliko Dangote's achievement and expressed their hope towards a new Nigeria. Sean Kuti was finally released from detention after eight days. Afrobeat singer Sean Kuti finally regained his freedom on Tuesday, May 23, 2023, after he was arrested for slapping a police officer. He was detained for eight days at the State Criminal Investigation Department, SCID Lagos, and was released after he met his bail conditions. The singer's fans were happy with his release as they were seen rejoicing with him outside the station when he finally left detention. Tina Turner died at the age of 83. Famous rock and roll artist Tina Turner passed away on Wednesday, May 24, 2023, at the age of 83. Her family shared in a statement that she died peacefully in her home in Switzerland after a long illness. She will forever be remembered for her outstanding musical career, which earned her the title Queen of Rock and Roll. Conferred GCFR title on Tinubu ahead of May 29 inauguration. Outgoing President Muhammad Buhari on Thursday, May 25, 2023, conferred the National Honor of Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic GCFR on the President elect Bola Tinubu. He also conferred on the Vice President elect Kashim Shatima, the Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger GCON. The conference, which took place at the State House Conference Center in Abuja, evoked mixed feelings amongst Nigerians. The United Kingdom banned foreign students from migrating with their families. The United Kingdom announced new immigration restrictions that will prevent family members of foreign students of non-research courses from joining them in the country. The government plans to implement these restrictions from 2024 with the aim of reducing the number of migrations in the country. Only the family of students enrolled in research programs will be eligible to move with them to the UK when this policy becomes effective. Will this affect your my plans let us know in the comment section and it's a wrap post fam don't stop liking viewing and sharing our content until next time bye